you wait, think Troy wait. was the auntie level mother convention? Uh, I, 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 I think you're breaking up. I can't. Welcome back to Flicks and Fables, where we have a little cheeky gossip about books, TV shows, and movies. I'm your host, Brianna. And I'm Nisi. Today, we're going to be ranking High School Musical characters. What team? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> what team? Wildcats. Yeah. What team? Wildcats. What team? Wildcats. Wildcats. Get your head in the game. Nisi, I set that up so perfectly. I did watch the movies, guys, but it's... <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. And you just told me Wildcats. I was like, oh, she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna get it. <laughs> you just did not. You said uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just sit there looking pretty. You're just like, I was like why is she not talking? <laughs> <laughs> is she froze. <laughs> but yes, today we're gonna be ranking your favorite wildcats. I feel like I already know how this list is gonna go. I'm gonna try. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be biased. I promise. Okay, so I actually rewatched the movies this morning cuz I was like, okay, Nisi may want to go into a character deep dive, so I need to watch these movies. And no, I yes. watched them this morning at like 8 a.m. on two speed. <laughs> and I got it done <laughs> in an hour. I Yay. said no, that's how you do it. You would think that I didn't watch the movie based on my earlier my actions earlier, but I did. What team? <laughs> Nisi says I will say that I feel like we're missing a character to appear but that's okay we can just verbally say where they belong which character do you think we're missing because I could add we're, it real quick if I, I think we're missing Martha okay who, who likes the pop rock rock jam <laughs> I could add Martha real quick there this queen is yes girl yes. look at you and your big hair Go back over here. No, Mr. Bolton, get back down. He always wants to spotlight that Mr. Bolton. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Girl, we are ready. Yep, we're looking All right. good. So we have our tears. We have Mother Convention, aka Beyonce status. That means that these characters are like top tier level. They are the Beyonce of High School Musical. Then we have you ate that. You're not quite on Beyonce's level, but you're like you're you're close. You're almost there. You ate that. You did what needed to be done. Then we have our background noise. We all have that one show that we watch to help us fall asleep. <laughs> and yeah. that's what the background noise is. That person who's like not memorable, but you know just a little bit about them to help you get through like a conversation. And then we have is who slash what is this honey it's it speaks for itself who are they what do they do so first up we have mr ryan evans the twin brother of sharpay you know when i <sighs> first watched these movies i had no idea that there were twins i just thought they were siblings but i didn't realize that they were actually twinning but um yes they were twinning i don't think they brought it up a lot no i just feel like no, they didn't. I watched it this morning. What am I talking about? I know they did it. So yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I think I think it was just like assumed that we knew they were twins. Because they were the same age doing all the same stuff. So I guess our little our little um children yeah. child brains, I guess we put that together. I don't know if my child brain did. Mm -hmm. I was too busy looking at um Mr. Troy Bolton <laughs> and oh. Chad. So yeah. You know, Troy never did it for me. I never found him cute, but that's a conversation for another day. What did she say? I'm asking the people <laughs> in the back. <laughs> you know, I'm asking her. I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't find Zac Efron cute in High School Musical. Oh, so we're delusional too. Yeah, I see. No, you not see delusional. Del he del looks del like you can tell he just hit puberty. His voice just changed. You know who we should have added to this tier list who's not up there? Mr. Ooh. Drew Seeley. Girl. Mr. Drew Seeley. Girl, Seely. girl. You, are you looking at your screen carefully? Who's next to Sharpay? 
you know how could we not have Drew Sealy up here he so real needed- Troy, in a real Troy Bolton <laughs> Especially in High School Musical 1. and High School Musical 2, uh, Zac Efron was finally singing. But Drew, I said, you know what? He needs his flowers today, <laughs> tomorrow, and tomorrow, every day. Tomorrow, day. <laughs> That's like, so funny. Drew well, I held it notice. down. He held it down. She's like, girl, he's up there. I'm like, where? <laughs> right there. I promise you, he's right there. Like, we're, we'll get to Drew. But I actually really do love, like, all of his music in Disney. Because he was mm-hmm. on the Cheer Girls 2 soundtrack. He was on, um, he did the Cinderella story with Selena Gomez, like, my man, my man, my man. Not really like my man, I just wanted to say that, but, like, he deserves, he deserves. (laughs) No, he, yeah. We're ignoring Ryan, just like Sharpay does, and, like, the rest of his family, so let's go ahead and give him (laughs) a tier ranking. Um, Mr. Ryan, you know, he ate his spot next to Sharpay. I don't know... (laughs) He may deserve, like, a mother convention only because of how much he had to go through and how, like, ignored he was. That's true. He ate everything he did. Like, he bopped his way all the way to the top. (laughs) Um, I don't dance. I know you can. Not about a chance. No. You know, we really should be ranking the songs, too. We need to do that because... So good. So good. But back to Ryan. We keep, um... Sorry. (laughs) Like, going off on a tangent. (laughs) Can we agree on it? You ate that? Yeah, he ate that. Yeah. Also, I love that he was always writing for his sister. Like, it don't matter what Sharpay did. He was definitely always there for her. Like, whether she was right or wrong, he was like, um, but no, like, like uh, my sister. Was he, though? Ah, for the most part. High School Musical 2, the whole plot was him... Being angry that he was ignored. Yes. So, like, the first one, yes. The second one, no. And the third one, we'll get into the third one. Yeah. (laughs) We'll get into the third one. The second one, I can understand where he was coming from because it's like, we're just, we're literally share the same birthday. We were born, like, we, we're a twin. So, it's like, Mm -hmm. why am I being overlooked and she's being so wants to replace me yeah like I'm your day one apple scrapple why are you trying to replace me but I also think that she wasn't trying to replace him in a sense of that she thought Troy was better it's like they can go over the romantic aspect like you can't uh, you're my brother there's only so much we can do like this is a different kind of show and a different kind of network if that happened this is not a Netflix show yeah Ryan was like we could be Donnie and Maria Right, like we yeah. can be sibling power, we can run this joint. And Sharpe was like, no. Okay, so I think I think we're good with where Ryan is. Moving on to Miss Kelsey. Kelsey, right? Okay, this is just my opinion. She did eat whatever she ate, but I kind of stand this little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? Oh, wait, I clear my throat. And not because, <laughs> and not because she, and not because she did anything wrong. Like I don't think she did anything wrong. I just like speak up, damn. Like, oh, be- you wanted her like speak with her chest. Yeah, like how you gonna be sneaky, but then be a punk about that shit? Like if you gonna be, if you gonna be like playing both sides with Troy and Gabriella, and then with Sharpe and Ryan. On that shit. She was over here like, I, th- I think that you guys should sing the song. Uh, no. And Sharpay and Ryan definitely sung that song way better. I didn't want the slow fucking version. It was supposed to be a pop song. Mm-hmm. And they going to change it. And she helped that. But that's just me. But she definitely is background noise. Like she... Do, she do, 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 do. Yeah, Yay. she was a like she was not feeling any of the like pop remixes of her songs she was just like no so I do agree she can get background noise because we actually do know who she is and next up on the list we have Mr. Zeke Mr. Creme Brulee the love of my life Mr. Cutie Patootie now some people may not like Zeke and fuck those who don't I'm sorry but Zeke is like say. really baby. Like he he was so sweet. He was so nice. Like he was just so sweet. Like nothing. I don't have anything bad to say about him. 
Nothing. And he cooks or bakes. Like, what he can bakes. I say bad about that? He bakes, he cooks, he does everything. He was, like, such a sweet person. He was, like, a really nice jock. So I don't know what bad you mm-hmm. can say about him. And then, okay, one thing. Let me clear my throat again. <clears throat> Girl, you still got me choked up from that Kelsey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just was not expecting sorry, Miss Nelson. You will forever be in my heart. <laughs> Wait, who's Miss Nelson? Oh, is that her last name? That's Ke- um, Ke- yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who's that? <laughs> like, I don't know who that is. But um, Zeke was so sweet, and one thing I didn't really get. Like, with High School Musical 2, understand that the whole thing was about Sharpay wanting to be, like, the egg couple with Troy and everything. But she could have just done that with Zeke. Mm-hmm. Like, she kept going... She could have done that with Zeke. So, like, the end credit... What do you call it? The end credit scene on High School Musical yeah, was Yeah, it them. seemed like they were together. And then the second two movies just was nothing. So, I, I wonder like, if that what? was... Do you think that was... That could have been... Uh, um like an ad lib with the two the two actors i don't even yeah. know if that it could have been like yeah scripted so maybe that's maybe why it was like a ish thing maybe mm-hmm. it might have just been like you said an ad lib fun yeah so maybe that's why they didn't include it like in the actual movie it was after a little bit of credit started rolling so maybe that could be why they didn't go with it and why the second movie it was about her and troy when she literally could have just put all her effort into this sweet human being and like or was- brian well we were talking about like how she like needed that romance aspect i guess because yeah. you know it's high school she wanted to be loved up i guess i mean i get it when uh-huh. i was watching High School Musical, I swear to God, I swear to God, I was going to get me a Troy. I was going to get me a Chad. I was going to get me a Zeke. Nothing. It really set me up for failure. I thought my high school experience was I know. Be just like It's this. like these, these movies set you up for failure. You're like, okay, I'm going to go to a school, fall in love with a basketball player, live happily ever after. And it's like, no. Something. Like, no, you're not. You're not, not even close. That fairy tale. Not even, like, no. Not even a smidget. They're like, no, it's not going to happen. Like, sorry, babe. That's anyway. not for you. But um, right? I think we know where Zeke is going, obviously. Yes. This has nothing nothing to do with, like, even his character, like, like <laughs> no, what no. he said. He was, really in the, he, he was really in the movie. <laughs> he was a background like, character. Is... All right, but he's never background noise. Never. Never that. He's so, a background um, character. So he's, he's going, not background. he's either going and the you ate that or mother convention. Which one do you want me to see? You could have full range <laughs> on this one. Um, of course, mother convention. He's Zeke, like, okay. And I don't want any of the haters in the comments like, oh, Zeke is mother convention, but so-and-so isn't. When you can make me a creme brulee, maybe you can go up to mother convention too. And um, maybe if you hop on Zoom, you could also give us your input on what's going on. But until that day. <laughs> He's going. So you have a seat at the. Once you get a seat at the table, your opinion will matter. I'm joking. You guys' <laughs> opinion matters to someone, not to me, <laughs> but to someone. <laughs> not to us quite yet. There we go. Zeke in his rightful place. Father convention, yeah, mother convention. Say. He's a parent. He belongs up there. Yes, and then I just want to let you guys know: you will never hear me say an un- un- an unpopular opinion. All my opinions are popular. Hello. Say that one more time for the people in the back. All of our opinions are popular. I will never say it. She will never say unpopular opinion. People who say that, they just don't want to stand on what they say. I stand when I say Zeke is my convention. And he was Ten a top tier character in high school. Ten toes down. I will not backtrack. Oh, it's a good little face. I will not back down. He is so cute. Like, we had, this is such a pretty cast. Also, we had two handsome black boys at the time on one movie. Okay, when we get to Chad, would you say? That's we didn't really get that two in one movie. You only sometimes they only limit us to one. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Girl, I thought you said something completely different. That's I was like, what? (laughs) 
I won't say what, what did I you think? thought I heard. I won't say what I thought I heard. Um, YouTube might be Listen, like, I'm ch- sorry. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to keep this a little bit PG. Especially about like a rated G movie <laughs> where they don't even kiss in the movie. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it right here. It was. It was. I think it was PG thirteen. I think they kissed. Didn't it her and Troy kiss? Again, I just watched these movies today. <laughs> no, <laughs> just watched it. Like just, I think they did. Okay, the yeah. last, like, High School Musical 2 was all about them trying to, like, spend time together and then try to kiss each other and, you know, just just see each other. But mm-hmm. they kept getting interrupted. That was, like, the whole bit in the movie. So I really don't think mm. they had, like, this whole build up in the last scene and they almost kissed it, but then the sprinklers came on. So I do, do I know if lips touched? No clue. But for the most part, no. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, we have up next Miss Darbus. Oh, queen. She's a queen, yes, but does she deserve it? Miss Darbus is queen. Yeah. No, because she really trying to play in the real queen's face, and I don't like that. You said nope. <laughs> <laughs> so no, because like she really trying to play in Sharpay's face. How you play in mother's face? That's what I want to know. You're, if you're not mother, you can't play in mother's face. And she tried to play in mother's face. And hey. that that's why she only get a you ate that. Because you can't come for the queen. Like, I don't understand her. You gave it. You you, you was out here giving parts to mathletes, basketball players. When you had a queen at the table. That's crazy to me. To any Joe on the street. She said, you come here. To- audition for my show. <laughs> You just let anybody come up in the club audition. I'm not going up in the club. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I agree. Yeah. She ate like her whole productions and everything. But the way that she was conducting herself. Like how you supposed to be a producer or like and you, and you being biased. Because you didn't give the best part to the best person. You can't tell me Miss Montez was out here giving, giving pop to the top. Mm-mm. You are the music in me. Like, what? You out here giving roles to people who wasn't even really singing in a movie, Miss Darbus. Let them know. Why wasn't Drew on that table? Why wasn't he up on that stage? He could have been something in the movie, technically. I really, I really wish he was. Because Drew Seeley... I don't remember what they said. I don't remember why they said that he wasn't in the movie. I think he wasn't available to film. I think but so he too. was like available to sing the song. They said, "Lay down your vocals first, and then we'll try to um, work around your schedule." And <laughs> just never got back with them. They was like, "Oh, so we're gonna use your vocals, mm-hmm. but you're not gonna be in the movie." They're like, "No, you need you need oh. one more week." Sorry, sorry, babe, <laughs> can't do it for you, Drew. <laughs> sorry, Drew, <laughs> can't do it. Alrighty, Mister oh, Bolton. Mr. Bolton, the man who was living vicariously through his son. I feel like he deserves a tier lower than who is this. He's like, (laughs) honestly, he was living so vicariously through Troy that he just didn't even, first of all, he, (laughs) hold on, I'm choking up. (laughs) Girl, he's trying to put a hex on me for a second. (laughs) He's delirious below. He said, you talking about who? Not me. You are me. <laughs> but Listen, like, he said, don't come for Daddy Bolton. <laughs> he said, I got that voodoo for you, girl. <laughs> What's her he name said, from Bad Girls Club that used to say that? Oh, Judy. Judy, I got that voodoo for you. <laughs> voodoo for you, bitches. He, that's what he said. He said, Brie, play with somebody, but don't play with me. Because why did I start choking up with you? <laughs> <laughs> he said, come correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Look, you can't even get it out. Ooh, y'all heard that. That was the... <laughs> okay, but yeah. Let me try to get this out. He was living vicariously through Troy, and he could not yes. give his own son advice about just wanting to try something different than being a basketball player. Like, why can't he have more hobbies? Because you oh. as a parent, you as a parent didn't go pro. <laughs> I hate that. Like, you wasn't good enough, so you will make. I'm going to make my son good enough because I wasn't good enough. First of all, why are you coaching your son? I feel like that should be against any school guidelines that a parent shouldn't be a child's teacher, coach, anything. Girl, do you know how many how many parents would be unemployed if we had that rule? <laughs> like, listen, I'm sorry that you didn't make it. 
in life and that you're not only in like life. <laughs> I'm sorry that you didn't make it in your profession mm-hmm. and that you have to live vicariously through your child but your child is not you people who live vicariously through their kids really need to unpack that trauma uh, uh, tell me why our zoom went down 10 minutes earlier than it normally does um zoom are y'all aware that Mr. Bolton is haunting your servers? Okay, back to the ranking. But okay, um, we can pick back up with the uh, tr- with the Mr. Bolton voodoo. Yes, before Daddy Bolton really interrupted me, I was saying parents who want to live vicariously through their children really need to unpack that trauma that they have embedded in them and why they act and do things that they do. Because obviously your son did have a love for basketball, but also he had a love for singing. I don't know why, because he couldn't, but he did. And you needed to support that. <laughs> why do you keep coming for Troy? <laughs> why? <laughs> what did Troy do to you? <laughs> he is just as sweet as Zeke as well. Well, okay. <laughs> the second movie, he was trying to act a little, you know. White I don't have cheese. no... I don't have no beef against Troy. I'm just you got some back. type of beef. <laughs> Watch when it comes to him and where I want him to be on the tail list. You'll be highly surprised. We 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 might have to beef. We have to go back and <laughs> forth because the way you keep coming for um, him. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Bolton, That's before right. he crashes, um, crashes our Zoom again, and before he <laughs> makes me cough. <laughs> He said, you will start to cough in two seconds. Before he hacked the mainframe. Yes. Um, Daddy Bolton, I wish there was a section for the pits of hell. But since there isn't, you're going to go in, who is this, honey? Because who are you? Please. Good Lord, that man, he put some off on me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on to his um, his son, Mr. His Troy feet. Bolton, the star of the movie, our um, male main character. He is one of our leads in the musical. You do know what confused me? I did not realize <laughs> until my big age of today. They went through everything that they went through just to go to a callback. I thought that was the actual musical. They were doing all this for a callback. Like, we don't even know if they got the role. Like, I did all that to audition. Like, you guys went through all this backstabbing from your friends. All this breaking up and making up with Gabriella. Just for a call back. Sharpay trying to get you get you out of the out of the um the theater club. All of that for a call back. For a call back. But um yes, Troy anyway. Bolton. Um, he is also one of my main loves from this movie. I have four. You know, I keep me a roster. Oh, what position he is on your roster, girl? Like I said, this is YouTube. But y'all no. know, y'all know my means. <laughs> but yeah, Troy. He obviously, obviously, he deserves mother convention. Beyonce status like this movie would not have happened without Troy I see you fighting how it. he gonna Just, get mother how he get mother conventions that it, he didn't even sing the song he sang some of them in high school musical two he's and giving, three he no. sung he sang no. bad on, no, it, he's, bad he's on giving, it bad on it he's giving like he thinks he's fairer from the from Destiny's Child when she thought that she was on saying my name and she wasn't like it's given delusion like he ate two but one if if like movie number one automatically he can't be mother if he didn't sing his songs for all three movies like mother sings through point A to point C he's not mother he's not father he just he ate what he did and that's fine and that's we could be okay with that. I feel like Zach Efron will also say he is not mother, he is son, he is child. He was fed, he ate. But he did all of the choreography. He had to remember all those lines. He gave us chemistry. I'm sure if I'm sure if Drew Seely, I'm sure if Drew Seely was free, he probably would have did the choreography with a little bob wig on too. <laughs> 
<laughs> that little shaggy, the shaggy hair flip. Look Girl. like Charlie from Target Factory, but he's not, and he he can't be, and he won't be. He can't be Mother Bree, and I need you to sit with that and need that marinate for you that he cannot be Mother. I'm so sorry. I didn't write the rules. The rules write itself, and he's not Mother. He you you think he Beyonce? You wait, think Troy wait. was Beyonce level Mother Convention? Uh, I I I, I, I think you're breaking up. I can't. <laughs> I can't hear a thing. Troy? That I. <laughs> you're, Hola. You're, 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 you don't have to hear me. You don't have to hear me for this one. You can put him where you want. You can put him where you want. Go ahead. Give him mother. Okay, but we did give Zeke a mother. <laughs> Other, like, only for the fact that he's a cutie patootie. Zeke did more than Troy ever could do in his whole. Little... More. First of all, Zeke was a baker. First of all, Zeke baked. Zeke sang. Zeke played basketball. And he danced. Troy just did two out of those things. Play basketball and dance. Did he sing? Some people will say he did. Okay, okay, okay. Some but we're say where, he where, don't. We're say, we're talking about the difference between what Zach Efron was singing, like in the show, in the movie. But Troy was singing. Now, whose voice was coming out? So we're putting in consideration said, uh, all okay, of Zac okay. Efron's efforts. But the character Troy, you you see, you see he what I'm still, saying? He still Zeke still did more than him because he baked. <laughs> okay, so where would you put Chad then? Because Chad is a whole. You don't want thing. my. You know. You don't want my answers to that question, so we could pay. We could pit Troy at Mother Convention. I have to. I have to fight for this. I really do have to fight. Yes, Troy. I, I'm. I'm when giving I you, per- you. You can when I, tell, when I tell you, all of his parts and songs are like the fun parts. Like we're soaring, ooh, flying. Like, are you singing Troy's part or Gabriella's part? You're singing Troy's. Girl, you may put him there. She just went silent. But I, guess, I guess I'm breaking up now. <laughs> We're gonna. I yeah. I'm, no, he's going no, go ahead, him. He's going mother. I I I can't. I have to put my foot down. We're talking about sand and ten toes. No, you got this because I you let me put Zeke up there, <laughs> which everyone is like that don't make sense. And then it makes sense. And then you're trying to yes. fight against Troy going up there too. In the first 10 minutes of this podcast episode, I told you that my p- opinions are always popular. And I will stand 10 toes down. And that's it. Brie won this battle. <laughs> She's not going to win the war. Oh, Lord, what's the war? Maybe Chad <laughs> will be the war. Mr. Chad. Mr. Going. Rewatching these movies. He was such a bad side character because of how they wrote him. Corbin Blue did his thing. Corbin Blue, I love you from like, like you, you were literally one of my first crushes. Like Corbin Blue, love you. But Chad, no, the yeah. character, he was an ass. Like real bad. And like really bad. Like he was a bad friend. I did not understand what his problem was. Like, if Troy is slipping on the basketball team, why don't you just replace him? Take his spot. Do something. I don't know. Oh, it's like, kind of like... That would have made him worse. A worse thing. What? How are you going to say take his spot? That's what we would have thought he was even bigger of an asshole. I don't know. He was just... He was... I don't know as a child no. what I thought he was giving, but going... Like, re-watching it, it was, it was real bad. Just how he was. And he was kind of... He was kind of horrible. Was, he, He's that friend who you're like, hey, I don't really want to like play basketball no more. He's like, what do you mean? Like we we promised each other. Like what? You're gonna sing? It's like what? Shut up. Yeah. That's your friend. If that was your best friend, you will understand, and you will be like, hey, I don't understand, but I will support you no matter what. It took him the whole hour and what twenty minutes of the movie yeah. to want to be like, okay, I get it. No, no, no. I want to sing too. It took him until Troy started messing up with basketball that he was like, 
yeah maybe I did the wrong thing so it wasn't even the fact that he realized that he was just being rude to his friend it was that Mm -hmm. basketball wasn't going the same way that it that it normally was for Troy and Mm -hmm. he was just a typical jock and I really I really hate that for him because I don't know if the looks were blinding me as a kid but no longer I'm a me so So where do he where does he go he Chad Chad let me say that one more time Chad he deserves he's with Mr he's with Mr Bolton and I, I'm going to whisper that he deserves to go with Mr. Bolton. Because, you know, Mr. Bolton is after me. <laughs> he is after I'm me. actually so surprised. I thought you would have put him at. OK, I was going to say background noise. I thought you were going to try to pick him up the convention. But I mean, if you say who's this, honey, you go ahead. I, I was going to give him background noise, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think Chad belonged in that fiery pit to hell not not you trying to throw me up under the bus <laughs> i thought we were a team i'm not i didn't think that he was you know who's this but hey you like it i love it <laughs> i can compromise with the background noise but it's just that chad the character was he wasn't a good character and if you weren't troy or gabriella all of the side characters they weren't written that well and they Not were sure. just like the archetype that they were going for they just went heavy with it and he was Uh victim of that so that's why as a character he just does not he doesn't do it he doesn't do it for you if we want to compromise a background noise i can um the devil i agree to be down there by himself mr bolton will burn not yet i think it will be really good because chad chad as a character just was Ugh. and then they put cutie mm-hmm. patootie corbin blue as him so i feel like did maybe i'm trying to think did high school musical come before or after jump in maybe after only because maybe he got the movie from the success of high school musical do you think i can't really it had to be after because i think he was a little bit younger in jump in or like they came around the same they could have come out the same time but been filmed differently so Can I actually I feel look he, this up because I want to know like why I think, quick I think, intermission. Yeah, yeah. do do do. <laughs> I love that. Add that in. Like the so jumping came in, came afterwards. Jumping, but like how much after? Okay, so it was High School Musical was released in two thousand six, and then Jumping is two thousand seven. Now, when it could have been films, like you were thinking not sure he does look just a tad bit younger actually and jump in right yeah i see what you're saying okay they filmed it in 2006 oh then that means definitely high school musical was filmed first then yeah i think we can assume that but i feel maybe he looks super younger in jump in i don't know i really don't know i'm trying to figure out why i was so in love with corbin blue especially if the character Chad just like was not good. I don't. I don't really. You were in love with the hair, <sighs> something, the hair, the face. I was. I was blinded because Chad as a character is horrible. But um, moving on to another character, we have Miss Gabriella Montez. I hope I'm saying her last name right, girl. I forget all these characters' names. What's that face? Not. She, not she's picking her nails. <laughs> You're like. So, um, this opinion to some people, y'all may not like it, and I don't want to say what I want to say because I don't care what people think. But um, I don't who who is she really? Like I don't know her. She didn't really give me anything in the movie. Like I hate when they make girls play these shy, timid little, <laughs> like what. What about that? Am I supposed to like? It's supposed to be appealing to me. Like who was she? Like oh, I just moved here from where did she move? South Dakota. I don't really know. Like she just wasn't doing it for you, huh? No. And then you wanted me to believe that she was just some nerd. Like it even give nerd. It, it didn't it did give cheerleader if they it gave like she was like this popular kid who had to like try to pretend that she was like this nerd geek mm-hmm. 
I was supposed to believe that Vanessa Hudgens was some nerd. Like, I feel like they could have did a much better job was... at making her like more appealing to like the average everyday girl. So you I mean, wanted... I guess to the average everyday white girl, it it does, but it. You wanted um Kelsey as Gabriella, huh? Is that what you're saying? Like more relatable, instead of like like Kelsey pretty... probably would have been a better like looks wise like how they how the character like mm-hmm. was Kelsey would have been a better fit to play like someone who's like shy and timid and all of that underneath Sharpay but like they could have made Gabriella still play that role mm-hmm. but just make her like this other hot new girl who's coming in and taking Sharpay's place mm-hmm. that would have made more sense than making her like some timid scared nerd and then get it I feel like I have the complete opposite take. Like, your take is exactly how I felt before I rewatched these movies, like, an hour Mm -hmm. ago. But now, Gabriella, I feel like she never... I didn't mind her, like, as a kid, but she wasn't who I loved. Basically, like, what you're saying, too. But after watching it, I really do like her character. Like, she's cute, she's fun... She just wants to. <laughs> you Sorry, do... I didn't like. <laughs> you genuinely do not want to hear what I have to say about these characters. I, I was like, um, she actually, let me, fix, let, me, let me just start fixing stuff. <laughs> Next, you're gonna di- did you disconnect me with uh, when we're talking about Mister Bolton? I was like, you? actually, yeah, I pressed like, eh, let me, let me end this meeting. <laughs> you were acting like a Scooby Doo villain. But like, okay, <clears throat> Gabriella, she's like, no, she's not like the typical character that you want to root for, that you want to love. She's just like yeah, the yeah. next door. She's not like you're saying. She's not anything interesting. She she was just kind of, she's kind of there to more move along Troy's story, I guess. His more discovery yeah. because his was. His was, I guess, that whole jock aspect because you don't think that yeah. jock should be in theater, but hers was mathletes. And what is that like? Mathletes, okay. It's just like, a, I guess it was that she's too smart to want to be a singer and a pop star. Mm-hmm. And then that's what rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, what do you mean? Because then you have the counterpart who we're supposed to say is the villain, but she's just passionate about what she does. Mm-hmm. And people who are not as passionate or, like, who are just coming in and now all of a sudden they're, like, passionate or they're, like, oh, I want to sing and that. But she's, like, no, I sing because I genuinely, this is my craft. This is my passion. This is something I want to do. You're not sure about what you want to do. You're not sure. And it's, like, like you said, math, the mathletes? Like, what was, what was I supposed to connect with about that? And it's like they just started singing because of their New Year's Eve. Like, you just started. And now this is like something that you... But I guess it... it I'm was, not saying you can't find your passion later yeah. in life and that they genuinely couldn't be passionate about singing. <laughs> said later in life. <laughs> like they're not like 15-year-olds. And then the next that... week they decided they want to be in <laughs> You said later in life. Yeah, like later in life. Uh-huh. Like our parent I mean, what group? I mean, it was three movies, right? So I wanna say that this started their junior year of high school, because then we had junior, senior, sophomore year mm-hmm. play out on screen. So who knows what they were like as freshmen. But it's like, yo, you coming in, you was like supposed to be about math. Now all of a sudden you wanna sing, now all of a sudden I'm losing, like no. <laughs> no. But yeah, making stink bombs and shit. Like what? <laughs> All of that yeah. for a callback? A callback. I still can't a get over that. Back. A callback. Oh. Anyway, she's like she ate that though. I wouldn't give her mother convention. Like I don't think she's spectacular. Okay, I can agree with that. I think that's better than what I could have expected. Honestly, yeah. No, she's, she's got a background noise. I love me some baby V. Like baby V, yeah. Gabriella ate that though. Do I think? I think she was also whiny. 
<laughs> Wait, all she did was after, whine. After all that, you said she ate that though. Like you ate that. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. You ate that. You ate that though. I'm not one thing. I'm not as a hater. <laughs> not just went on a hating like tangent for five minutes straight. <laughs> one thing I'm not <laughs> is a hater. <laughs> That was cringe. That was constructive criticism. That wasn't me hating. You said I have notes and I need to read them off. <laughs> Actually, where's my little journal? <laughs> oh, not real notes. Okay, but um, next up we have Taylor. 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 I was about to call oh, her Monique Coleman. That she... <laughs> That's why I paused so long. I was like, you're like, oh, what's her name? <laughs> I didn't know her name was Taylor either, and so I had to Google it. Because I feel like they never even really said her name. No clue. I hate that they made her be such a background character. Like, I know she was a background character, but I don't... Who is she? Exactly. One thing I will say... I wish... I'm happy that, like, the youth, they have High School Musical, the musical... Uh Uh-huh. Oh, wait. It just went away. <laughs> Guess uh-huh. who left? Why is Martha left? This is voodoo. <laughs> I Monique, know. I mean, Monique, I'm sorry, baby, but who were you on the show? Why was you terrible? Monique, I understand you're going through something right now and you want to, like, you're mad at us for having this opinion, but this is no way to do it. Who was even left? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, okay. Let me. Let me. Oh, I think we left. were just saying that she was a side character. Oh yeah, I hate it so much that Taylor was. She was just a background character, and yes, she was. But I feel like she was portrayed as a, a supporting actress in the show. But she was not the show, but the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh! I remember. I was saying. I was saying. I was happy that the youth they that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy that the youth that they get High School Musical, the musical, the series because it goes more in depth with the characters. And I feel like if they went more in depth with these characters and this cast, we would have understood like everyone's motivations a little bit more. But since it was only an hour and mm-hmm. maybe at most thirty minutes, we only had we, we mm-hmm. only focused on Troy and Gabriella. But if it was a series, we would have learned a lot more about people. We might like them more or less. I don't know if Chad, if he had more lines, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we would like him that much. Because <laughs> he he's always doing a lot. So Probably if not. Had, if he had more he lines, was... I don't know. But yeah, I don't... Doing so much for no reason. No reason. But I completely agree with your point that all the side characters, they were very much side characters. And they were... Like whatever trope or whatever, um, it's not stereotype. What word am I looking for? Whatever, um, like what are they? What are they? What's like the what's their niche? I'm saying every single word that I'm not trying to think of. It's like they're like they're they what? were the jocks, the the nerds, theater kids, and like the skaters. Like what is that called? Flex? Yes. I'm going to sit here for like five minutes trying to think of the word, and then once we get off this topic, I'm going to remember. They're clicks? Like they're, I don't know. What, what word are you trying to say? Like, oh, you whatever, don't know. Yeah. Whatever they're they niche, were. Yeah. yeah, like whatever their character was, they went heavy on that, and they just, and that was it. Their status quo? No, no, yes. no, no. <laughs> That was not what I'm thinking of, but good, good dance break and good reference. See? What team? Yeah. Wildcats. Girl, that still no. took too long. <laughs> but yeah, basically, forgot again. <clears throat> basically, these characters do not want me talking about them. I swear to God, I'm not sick. I've been fine all day until we start talking about this. <laughs> but basically, hey, listen. What we're saying is that all the side characters, they were side characters, and we didn't learn anything more about them than what we were given. And that kind of sucks because we can't rank them fairly compared to the ones who like actually gave something while being a side character and the ones who had the most lines in the movie. 
So Miss Taylor. But we can also we can also talk about Monique Coleman being like one of the only black women like supporting actresses on the show, revolutionary on the movie, because like we needed someone and she was our someone and she held it down for us, us girls. So yes, Monique Coleman, thank you. But Taylor as a character, she might get background noise. Uh, I feel bad, but like. As a character, we're not talking about the actors and actresses, okay? As a character. Like my boo Corbin Blue, he would not, he would be in the pits. Okay? (laughs) But my boo Corbin Blue, that's mother convention. But Chad, so Taylor. She has to go where she has to go. We don't make the rules, even though we came up with this tier list. We just don't make the rules. I'm sorry. It's so funny because, like, again, Zeke is at Mother Convention. (laughs) Like, why are you there? What are you doing there? (laughs) It's like, it's like Zeke is at Mother Convention, and look at all the characters that are below him. (laughs) Don't make (laughs) sense. This does not make sense. Zeke, Troy, everybody else. Oh, we have someone else who can go on Mother Convention, though. Miss Sharpay, Queen Mother. But I will say one thing, even though I'm going to go ahead and put her there. And then while I explain what I'm about to say about Sharpay. So like, as a character, Sharpay, she was just, she was too much. And she kind of forced herself on Troy not like not in a sexual way let, let, let's let's not go there but just in you will be mine kind of way like in a possessive way and girl you did not he did not like you like that and I, know, I agree Sharpay she did too much she just was passionate okay but she she's like passionate about what she's She's already at Mother Convention, so I feel like we can talk real about this, though. Like, she's she's not moving. She's not moving. But Sharpay, as a character, she was... Sharpay? I feel like she's kind of everything that we don't like. But somehow it works in her. Like, do you, do you get she, what I'm saying? She gave, like... I can admit that she was wrong and how she went about things was wrong. Like, her character development, it fluctuated. Like, she went from, like, the end of the movie to the first movie. And you was like, okay. She changed to the second one. You're like, wait, what happened? It's like, did she? I definitely understand why Sharpay was portrayed as the villain in High School Musical. I'm not saying that she wasn't, you know, crazy or neurotic or any of those things. I just feel like it it was also portrayed in a way that she just was like that type of person because she was that type of person and they didn't like really focus on her character development like it you know how like in um oh, I forgot that movie especially like in the end of the first movie they portrayed it that she was going to be this changed person and like we, like we talking about we had that end credit with Zeke and we're like okay that's cute and it got to the second movie and it just was like she was the same person uh-huh. again. And I just don't understand that. It's like But she's mother. Like she did what needed to be done. She had work ethic is amazing. Like uh who am I to say that she's not mother? There was something about like the blonde white girls on Disney Channel that I gravitated towards and I just I don't know why because I don't do that any longer as a full-fledged adult but like as a kid the mean girls I don't know I didn't but I also think I liked her because and this is not to base it on like all the characters that Ashley Sizzle has played but I think I liked her from Food Life of Zack and Cody that I just was like wow okay I my feelings for her transferred over. Yeah. So I'm a bit biased proper, pop, probably. Mm-hmm. But yeah. 
It's the same thing with me. Like, I, I agree. Love Ashley Tisdale. Same thing with me and Corbin Blue. Like, I don't understand why I like their characters because it's not something I, w- they're not people that I would naturally gravitate towards, but somewhere like uh-huh. in my child brain, they just, they were like it for me. Yeah. It was like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. And I still feel that way. So, but watching it now, yeah, I can see. I feel like, okay, like, you know, like how on Twitter, like all the girls are always like going back and forth with each other and arguing because there's people who watched it as kids and we are thinking with like our nostalgia brain. And then it's people who watch it as adults who understand like, yeah, that behavior is not good. They just Mm -hmm. don't get how we still feel about them the way that we did as kids. So it's kind of hard to explain because I don't even know why I like these characters. It's just that I did and that has carried over. Like the nostalgia has carried over. It has wired our brains to just Mm -hmm. know. Like we love them. We just love them. So to talk about it as an adult, it's kind of different, but I still love the characters. Yeah, it's not even from like, for me, it's not even like, yes, the nostalgia part of my brain. But I also don't think that she was a bad character per se. It's like, yes, she had her moments, yes. But I also, I not but I also understand where she was coming from. Mm-hmm. And like, in I terms think, of like, like in this new girl movie, is coming in, taking like something I'm passionate about, and it's like, does does to them is there the does there mean as much to me? as it does to them or does it mean as much to them as it does to me and I think that's the kind of lens I was looking through it as as that like this is something she was passionate about and these other two one doesn't know if he wants to play basketball or not because his mm-hmm. daddy told him to and one is just because she loves science and math like is this a hobby or is this something that like you're trying to pursue so I honestly in High School Musical the first movie I get where she was coming from like the whole like scheming and conniving stuff was like it's whatever mm-hmm. but these are still people new people who are trying to take your spot so I get that mm-hmm. high school music school too is when it kind of goes into like Sharpay you're really doing a lot but honestly if that were me and if I was not the mature version that I am now baby I would have rode Sharpay's coattails until the wheels fell off like she was trying to get that man a scholarship she was trying to get that man like to the right people like troy he was about to come up when you think about it right he could have used her like she wasn't just like hey i'm using you she was like hey you help me this is how i will help you and her stuff was like not even major she wanted you to sing in a talent show like she was about to get you in college she was about to get you on a basketball team because her daddy um basically was like on the board with the university of albuquerque like she was about to set that man up so like I said I'm more mature now so Sharpie I had the best song fabulous oh so good the production is so good too like that whole side production of fabulous oh I want a fabulous oh that is my simple request all things, all fabulous. things fabulous bigger and better and is better and yes uh, but I will say that um, I feel like the first movie's songs, I don't know why, but they're more like classics to me than the second movie. Like I love all the second, like I love all of the songs in the whole franchise, but the first movie's music just seems a little bit more classic. Is that, do you agree? Like I like the second movie better. Like I the second like movie pro- songs better. Production wise, the second movie is better. I don't know about storyline wise because no storyline wise, it made no sense. Yeah, like Sharpay literally got all of them in. Well, first of all, let's say that she got Troy a job over the summer, and he took advantage of that and was like, "Hey, can you get all my friends in?" And she got them all the jobs at the country club. First of all, why were these high school students like so gun ho about getting a job over the summer? Like, I, like every single person was like, I need some money. I need money now. It's my money and I want it now. That's how they're acting. And I'm like, did y'all really need to, y'all didn't need a job that bad, did you? And it gave, like, were you working at a country club or a summer camp? Because why, why were y'all living in cabins? Did they? They didn't go home. Like, they stayed on a resort. 
That's true. I don't know where they're staying because I guess on the weekends they would go home too. So I just, I guess it was a country club. I, girl, I have no clue. I don't know what that place was. I think it was a country club. I don't know what it was either. But yeah, back to our queen, Trape. She was, she like funded, she lined everyone's pockets that summer. She but did. it's the way that she went, ab- went about it that was just, wasn't right. And then like we mm-hmm. keep saying, Trape, she would, this is a problem. These characters were such side characters that there was yes. only so much that they could do with them. And they kept repeating arcs and stuff because Chad, he went back to being like not understanding and like the jock, like Troy, what are you doing? Kind of thing. Uh-huh. And then Taylor, she was still the snitching best friend. Like that was her only thing that she did in the movie. Trepe, uh-huh. she was supposed to be changing. She did not change. Like at the end of the movie, we're like, okay, so the next movie, she's going to be better. Nope. She reverted back to the same person. And then at the end of the second movie, again, she, she went back to, and did that whole like character arc again, where she was doing like too much over here. And then finally Mm -hmm. she realized that I got to cool it down. And like, I actually like these people, Ryan, again, he was just Sharpay's like background person kind of thing so because there was not enough time to explore everything with every single character because the cast is so big and Zeke Uh all all our man doing was baking that's it and cooking (laughs) so if it was longer then we could we could talk more about these characters but with what we were given a lot of things were repetitive and I think that's the problem I agree so yeah basically what we're saying is that we needed more from the original cast of high school musical i will say at that time that they all had a lot of stuff going on like outside of high school musical like they were doing other jobs so i understand i wish it could have been a series but for what we got i mean these movies are a classic they still stand the test of time but we'll get into the ratings of the movies we need to get into the man that we've been talking about this whole hour. <laughs> like we would, we would talk about a character and then go back to him. Juicy, Mr. Juicy. King. No, I don't. I don't know what it is about him, but I actually like, really do love him. I don't know how he is as a person right now, but the way that he he like ran Disney Channel for male singers, male leads, like he ran Disney Channel. Like how Ariana run pop? <laughs> Drew Seeley ran Disney Channel as like he... the male vocalist. Yeah. I just really love him. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What do you rank him though? Mother. Like he wasn't even a character. So I can't even say his high school musical character, la la la. No, like this is Drew Seeley. <laughs> he gets mother just because. He's Drew Seeley. There's this one get- song that I love so much. Um, it was Wait, hold in- on. Sorry. Yeah. Is that Miley Cyrus? Yes! My girl, <laughs> wait. When we get to her, we'll get to her, but she deserves a spot on this tier list. <laughs> I'm like, why is Martha up there twice? And I'm like, is that <laughs> Miley Cyrus? I had to put my girl up there for her cameo. I mean, I voted on that cameo, so I had to put her there remember it was between um miley and selena who was going to make a cameo and uh-huh everyone voted well the overwhelmingly voted for miley i honestly mm-hmm. think that was like a farce kind of thing i think they just wanted us to get involved and go to yeah, yeah. com. i think she already had she was had it yeah she was already filmed it <laughs> she already had that cameo and we were just she voting on it. something but yeah she's up there but back to back to my they Adrian. probably had them both film it already and then they just used the clip of whoever so you think it was real the whole voting I, yeah i think the scene was already recorded they had yeah. two scenes recorded and then whichever one won is the one they put in but i think it was already done so it didn't matter yeah see i'm at two minds about it i feel like she already had the role and she already had the cameo mm-hmm. but i don't know because then it would have made a little bit more sense for Selena to be in there since um, Wizard of Waverly Place was so new. Um, let, I don't I, I don't remember the timing of all this. Maybe Hannah Montana was newer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But Miley won. And that's why she's on this list. 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, Drew Seeley. There's this one song and another Cinderella story. It's called, why can't I think of the song title? Oh, That Girl or something? Um, I'm not sure. I would play it for you, but YouTube is going to copyright us. But I, I can sing it. It goes, Mm-mm, she is that girl. Bum, bum, da, da. You know, know she- it. She's that girl. <laughs> Sometimes feel like everybody's watching me. Something like that. Something um, like that. I want to be honest with you. I didn't watch that Cinderella movie story. I think I, I never watched it all the way through. I think I've seen clips. Hmm. I've never actually watched it. Nacy. Sorry, Selena. Nacy. I think I've only ever watched the original Cinderella story all the way through. And and then now I can't even really and I watched there's like twenty of them out. I think I've seen all of them. Except for maybe the most recent recent one, but I think I saw that too. Like I feel like I I sat down watched abc family and watched it i honestly do not know how i fit in so much tv as a kid because i swear to god i watched everything and i just don't know how i did that even now i could barely do that it's five of them Mm. you have a cinderella story a never cinderella story a cinderella story once upon a song a cinderella story if the shoe fits and a cinderella story christmas wish Okay, yeah, the last two I do not recognize. I don't That's Demi Lovato? One. Is it? Demi was not in one. If the shoe fits? Demi? That's Demi Lovato, right? No, that's Sophia Carson. Girl, I was gonna say. It looked like her. Demi was not in no Cinderella story. I was gonna say she was not. But yes, um, is that all on Mr. Drew Seeley? He just he deserves yes. mother convention in my eyes. Put him up, put him up. This is basically just a video of me um, pronouncing my undying love for Drew Seeley. You never know. Maybe he'll see this and then he'll write you. Is he married? Is he married? Dear Brianna. He's probably married with kids. We don't even have to Google that. <laughs> now I kind of want to see if he's married. Anymore. He's going to be like, I heard that you loved all of my stuff on this <laughs> channel. I appreciate the support. Have he's a gonna beautiful, a- wonderful day. <laughs> he's going to make like a TikTok imagine no no no. you know those um the website cameo where you have to pay them like 20 uh-huh. bucks. <laughs> he's like hey brianna i <laughs> just think that you're an amazing person i'm so happy that i was able to make you happy in your younger years mm-hmm. hope I'm, you're doing good i'm so happy that you um are he's my 41 number one years old listener 41 41 that means that he was 20 something on disney that's probably why he didn't do the movie because he was old Older. <laughs> older I, I like that because i think oh he does have a wife amy paris oh so i feel like yeah ashley zach and vanessa and all of them i think they're just a little bit younger than that i don't think they're exactly 40 i think zach efron maybe like 36 now right let's see if i got it i got it right on a nose mm-hmm. he's 36 i think okay. ashley tips was older mm-hmm. but she may be older she's 38 Mm-hmm. and then what's the other one Vanessa Vanessa is probably like 34 35 mm-hmm. I forgot she's pregnant oh that's cute oh, she yeah. has a cute little baby Ashley are pregnant at the same time oh really I didn't know Ashley mm-hmm. was pregnant again yeah I love how this episode has turned into us researching a bunch <laughs> of stuff with a bunch of people if you guys ever see me like looking ahead, it's because I'm looking on the interwebs. Nisi is our researcher currently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to Miss Miley Cyrus. She made a little cameo. <laughs> you put this up here, so you get to put her on. This I get to take the reins. Yeah. Okay. Mother convention. Sorry. Put Brie. No. Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> put it <laughs> down. <laughs> you said yeah Brie do what you want Uh -uh." (laughs) fine she ate that she ate that little (laughs) she ate that (laughs) Brie you were about to let me have free reign you said wait a second should not have done that Brie put it down one more wait are are you telling me or are we going back to what What, no she 
Are we still huh? joking? Are we still joking? Or are you saying put it down to background? <laughs> <laughs> put it out one more background noise. But like she <laughs> ate that. I think she gave us a little macarena too. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the gr- uh, you know what? Actually, I'll let you have that because you have to let me have this one. Oh, you love Martha like that? Martha popped lock and dropped it all the way to mother convention. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't tell me you're serious. Mar- Martha was a plus size representation that we all needed. She told me that Danton holds no size. Okay. I think that's what she did. She's like, I pop, lock, and rock it. Mm-hmm. She's like, I pop, lock. Did she say drop and roll? I think, I think so. so. She was trying to give us fire safety. That's a queen right there. Okay, you want her at Mother Convention? No, we could put her. She ate that. Yeah, if if you okay, if you want her at Mother, no, no, she's not Mother. Okay, we we have we have to speak. We can't keep putting people up there to put them up there. <laughs> we have to be serious. This serious. is a serious YouTube channel. Matter serious. No more jokes. We are serious over here at Flicks and Fables. Yes, Martha. All right. I don't have anything to add on Martha, honestly. Yeah, me either. That's I think it. she was a fun character. That's it. She gave us the iconic line and you ate that. You ate that. Now, the most important part of this whole episode is ranking the movies. Mm-hmm. Let's start a little bit backwards. Let's start with number three. Where we rank number three? Um, I have a confession to make. I think we both have the same confession. These are my confessions. Go ahead, girl. I'll say it this way. I, my, my family was not paying money to see that movie in the movie theaters. They said, why is, out of all three movies, why is the third one in theaters? I said, mommy, daddy, I don't know. So I didn't go see it and I never saw it. And I actually heard it was bad. Everyone like loves it though. When you say everyone, actually, what? when I think about it, the, this okay, the song that I, I, I feel like I think they're talking about when they talk about songs is every day. First of all, hold on, back backtrack. You know what movie is not up here that needs to be up here as well? That's part of the High School Musical franchise. That yeah. it's peak mother convention. Sharpay's fabulous life. Fine. Honestly, <laughs> I don't think I watched that either. I don't remember. Bring this is where I draw the goddamn line. <laughs> this is where I draw the goddamn line. How then you watch Sharpay? I don't and remember I it. And it came out, it says in 2011. How old was I? I was 13. What was I doing? I was probably like Okay, watching. and I was like 18. Wait, <laughs> no, how old was I? Well, 2011, I was still in high school, 17. 16 I don't remember it. Oh my god, Austin Butler was in it. No wonder why um him and um uh, Ashley are friends. That makes so much sense. That's how yeah. This oh is how this god. is why they're best friends. Remember, he's like the godfather to her baby. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Which I know it has to be hard, right? Because she's friends with both him and Vanessa. <laughs> but as long as there's no bad blood, there should be no bad blood now. Maybe before. No. Yeah. But yeah, let me go ahead and add Miss Sharpay's adventure, even though, girl, I know nothing about you. Eek. Maybe okay. maybe I'll go back and watch it as, like, homework. It was but good. Then that means I should have watched High School Musical 3, and I didn't. Maybe we could hop you, on a live one day and watch it. And watch it, know. yeah. That You'll be like fun. it, because Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure actually shows more character growth for me and you see how like ryan became more successful and she came she became like not as successful like she was struggling so i like that she was able to kind of see that side of her i might actually have to watch it i like stuff like that no but yeah this is where all her it. growth came into and it's just I was a movie that- right yeah yeah it's just a movie hmm. i kind of wish that they did more serious stuff but like you say like you were saying these people were booked and busy, so they didn't have time to do uh-huh. extra hours in what they did. So I get that. But um, what were we ranking? Oh, High School Musical three. Never saw her. Don't know who she is. Like she uh, she above 
who is she's like yeah she's who is this honey but I feel like she doesn't deserve to be on the same playing field as daddy Bolton I was telling you I needed another tear for daddy Bolton but I can't I can't speak his name too much I just got my (laughs) voice back y'all y'all finally hear me uh speaking clearly he, he's gonna he's gonna do something again so so do you want to give it like a background noise yeah it's probably good it's in the high school musical family it's probably good we just maybe i'll watch it one day wouldn't know maybe the same day that i watch um the sharpay's great adventure mm-hmm. maybe so we'll go background noise even though you really deserve a who is this because we don't know who you are but it's because that guy <laughs> is there that we can't put y'all there that guy that guy that man <laughs> okay high school musical too what will we give that uh to me it's it's really good i, would say, I say you ate that like i it's the I best agree. movie out of the franchise well no no it's not it's the second best movie out of the franchise for me mm-hmm I just feel like the first movie is more classic. It's just like the classic movie. Oh, see, no, not for me. The 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 first movie is hell, but um, the second one is better than. The- <laughs> Nisi, we were just not on the same page. Do you see how scattered this tier list is? Like we are just, <laughs> we are clearly, clearly just not on the right page. <laughs> My goodness, you didn't like it like that? Or like the first one? Yeah, like you think the second one is better, which okay, I can I can like agree like production wise so much better, but I just think the first one is so classic. But you just No, see it makes me yarn thinking about the first one. So you think the first one just like does not deserve? No, but that's me. I I mean, if you you think mother convention and I think pit to hell, so we have to meet in the middle. And give it, you ate this. Fine. Our tier list just does not make sense. Like, not in the slightest. And then Queen goes on top. That's it. Okay. That's Sharpay's Big Adventure, which I still have not seen it. You don't, I don't need know how. to. I just conceded, like, so quickly. To- <laughs> <laughs> because I got a Troy at the top. I guess I have to concede. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our high school musical tier list. Now, again, I feel like I gotta say this a couple of more times. These because are not you, because you know our list is crazy. <laughs> These are not unpopular opinions. These are our opinions. So we care about what you think. Yes. Are we gonna take that consideration? No. Because the tail is already done, so it's nothing to take into consideration. <laughs> we can't, we can't, we can't fix it. It's already done. It's already done. It's, it's like done. you were watching this after we just went. <laughs> yeah, like nothing. By the time, by the time you see this, it would have already been like weeks. But we would love your feedback in your in the comments. Like, what do you think? If you had to make your own high school musical tier list, who will be at mother convention? Who will be at the bottom? If first of all. If you're going to just tell me that you think Zeke should be in the fiery pits of hell with Mr. Bolton, don't even comment, okay? Because I like to tussle. And I'll go back and forth for my man. I don't know about y'all, but me, this one right here, I fight for mine. So if if y'all are not prepared, do not come in these comments talking crazy. About my except man, for, except for all the picks that I was fighting for, and if you agree that they should be higher or lower, then yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please come and tell Nisi about herself. Tell me why Miley Cyrus should be Mother Convention for. Why did that deserve to be Mother Convention? It don't. The girls first of all, I let her have it, Troy. First of all, Bree, you talking about me? I let you dominate this whole tier list. You got <laughs> Troy at top. You got Drew Seely at top. You got Gabriella at she uh, ate that. I mean, I I agree. She ate a little bit, and then Miley Cyrus. And I'm so sorry to Chad and Taylor to be at B. I never want to see my people down bad. No, it feels so <laughs> anti-black. That's just... black. <laughs> I'm sorry. We gotta, be, we gotta get anti-black in the comments. I'm like, <laughs> I am a hundred percent B for the people. <laughs> 
Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Let me put two fists up from my people. <laughs> but they were such bad side characters. It makes me mad. We need I to talk about- I can't support something that wasn't seen, okay? I can't support my people if I don't see my people. <laughs> Gosh darn it. God, I don't want to hear, oh my God, the, no. No. The Blacks was barely in the movie. I'm sorry. And the Blacks, they were, <laughs> they had bad dialogue. I just- <laughs> We 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 are working with what they gave us, and they did not give us a lot. Before y'all be in the comments, see the blacks. Yes, the blacks was barely in the movie. Like, what? but y'all also heard our love from Monique Coleman and Corbin Blue. It's just they were not given good characters. If they were just, if the character growth was a little bit better, if the script was a little bit better, and we made up for it with Zeke. <laughs> you made up for it with Zeke. <laughs> I mean, um, it's only it's only three of them like what are we gonna do it's only three and two of them are a tier above the bottom so i mean at least they're not in hell and mr bolton should technically be lower i said his name too loud nisi we must end it there you know i can't get talking about that man too much <laughs> all right and there you have a wildcat me and breeze tearless of a high school musical now leave your comments below we definitely do want to hear i know we're joking but we do want to hear your feedback and where you rank these characters do you think they're mother convention at beyonce's level or do you think they're in the fiery pits of hell with mr bolton we want to know we also want to know what do you think of high school musical one two and three and sharpay's fabulous life where you would rank them too some of us may think high school musical was a great cinematic masterpiece while others think that it was a waste of space but that's all the time that we have for today's episode. <laughs> we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. This has been a Fix and Fables production. And then you have like... Bum, 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 bum.